Hey, and welcome to Hank's True Barbecue. So today we're gonna do a bit of a special, what I call meat candy, pork cracklings. Now to make pork cracklings, you need a really good pork belly. Or actually not so much the belly, but the actual skin. Got myself a nice belly here. You can see the skin on, there's quite a bit of subcutaneous fat. And that's what we're going to keep also. I'm going to trim this one off and show you how to smoke it, how to sear it to make those super tasty cracklings. So this is the belly. As you can see, if you look closely, there's quite a bit of subcutaneous fat. And when cutting off the skin to make cracklings, we're going to keep that fat. So don't just cut the thinner outer layer, but actually all of that fat down to the very meat. That's where you want to slice it. And when cutting that off, it's easiest to place this one upside down like that because now you get the skin mostly flat towards the cutting board. What I do is I put a big hand here and just press it down. Press easily. You don't want to press so hard that it's going to be hard to slice the knife through it. Just hold it so it stays flat, but that's the easiest way. Got my nice brisket sword here. I think this comes in really handy for cutting the, the skin and the fat off. So that's what we're going to do. And I keep watching both sides here to make sure I don't go up or down with the knife to start. The meat should still be on the pork belly. If there's just a bit of meat right here on the actual, well below the subcutaneous fat, that's okay. Not that sensitive, so I'm just gonna walk, work my way through this one. I think I'm getting a pretty even slice. Yeah. I think when coming to the end, it's I might flip it up because the skin curves up here. This is the actual belly. These are a few ribs still attached. this end it's gonna be easier as you can see I've got almost all of it away so this is good there you go nice slab of what's gonna be pork cracklings so seasoning well before seasoning the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna score the skin right here Typically it's done in a crosshatch pattern. I'm just gonna go one way now, so it still holds together. Now in this case, you just wanna score the skin. Sometimes when you go to a butcher's, they use a, like a thin razor or something. So get a sharp knife. And cut through just till you hit the layer of fat. And the reason is this is going to be way easier to cook if it all holds together. I can just move it like one slab. I'm just going to cut that little end off. That's one for the dog. Actually, I think I'm going to make a cross hatch pattern all while starting out. It's going to be easier to do it now. Now, just like when cooking a regular belly, this is going to take some time, so we're going to add a bunch of smoke flavor to it by smoking it low and slow, but then we're going to crank up the heat and pop the skin. But this is looking good. Uh, if you get a belly with a bunch of hair on, just burn it off with a lighter or something. Do it outside because it smells, but this is looking good. I'm just going to add a bunch of salt in this one. Go heavy, unload that salt shaker, because I really like the crispiness the salt adds. Also, I'm gonna go with my pork rub, KC Royale. Get some good flavors in there. So it's gonna be all crispy and fatty and salty and full of flavors. Nice. Get some salt on the top side. As you can see, I'm adding quite a bit. 
this is gonna be salty snacks, so that's why. Plus some of it's gonna run off when the fat renders. Now, that's the belly, uh, sorry, crackling. This is gonna be real tasty. All right, I'm gonna cook the pork cracklings on my PK. Got it set up already with two fireproof bricks. I'm gonna try out a new charcoal. This isn't commercial, but looks good, smells good. So I'm gonna give it a try and build a snake basically here so we can do a long cook at low temps. Temp is steadily climbing. We're at 86 now. Gonna get this one up to 120 to 130 Celsius. Uh, should be good smoking temp. So far, I really like the charcoal. It's very clean, clean burning. So that should be good. I'm just gonna watch the snake so it keeps continuing all the way without interruption. We're just hitting 100 on this one or 98 to 100. So I'm gonna put the skin on the pork cracklings already. Might as well get some time because it's going to take a while. Get the temp up. Now, as you can see, I'm not adding any wood, extra wood chunks for smoke flavor because I want to try out the charcoal and see how that works and how much or how little flavor it actually adds. So we'll see. We'll check back in an hour or two, but this is looking good. Oh, this is nice. Got the PK going, some good old charcoal for cracklings in the making. Really sweet, but it's gonna take some time. So I'm gonna smoke it first and then sear it or actually pop that skin later on, but I'll show you. So the pork cracklings is coming along nicely. This one got, I got it locked in on 125 to 130. So that's really good. I mean, I don't have to do a thing, it's easy. Smooth sailing. Take a quick look, see how the skin is looking. Still needs quite a bit of time and then we're gonna pop it, but that's all for later. So how is the cook coming? Well, it's been running rock steady for 120 to 125 to 130 Celsius, which is roughly 265 for a good three hours. So I'll be checking it, poking it to see when the fat starts to render, actually go all soft. Now it's looking really good. We're gonna open the lid. I'm gonna pop it open, uh, check with my thermofan. Not only the temp, but actually consistency. How does it feel? But I'm guessing we're getting pretty close to done, which means we're gonna crank up the heat and give it a good sear and pop that skin. Oh, no, that's looking good, real good. All that fat feels really soft and pliable, so that's good. Temp is like 95 Celsius. Two or three Fahrenheit, that's good. So the fat's all soft and jiggly, so I'm gonna move this out, uh, scoot all the charcoal together in a good pile so we can get really high heat so we can burn this surface really, get it all crispy. I'm gonna use my temporary tin foil like that, good. Okay, my heat gloves on. Thermometer probe done. Got 
gonna let this catch on a bit so we get high heat. I'm gonna actually remove these bricks so place them right here. So now what I'm gonna do is once this gets up to temp, we're gonna place the pork belly or the skin of the pork belly right here. It's gonna be real quick though because that high heat's gonna pop the skin in no time. So you're gonna have to flip it and check it a few times, but you'll see how I do it in just a few minutes. Well, it's definitely hot enough, so time to go. See if I can avoid having too much fat burning. Look at all that fat. It's gonna, that soft, jelloy, uh, wiggly fat is going to go really good with the crispy crackings on the other side. See, that's coming along really nicely. As you can see, it's quite fast. I'm gonna give this side a quick charge just because. See all those blisters? That's what I'm looking for. Just a few more seconds and then we should be done with that side. Yeah, and here goes the flames. That's because of all the fat. Just gonna give it a quick 30 seconds of color without trying to burn too much. Oh, look at that little, that's the chef's chair, definitely. Man, that's nice. All right, we're done. I'll just pull it off, let it cool off for 10 minutes. I'm gonna slice through here where I cut before. And uh, that's gonna be good. Nice. Well, I cut a few bits off. Man, that grill is hot. I'm gonna move myself to the other side. This one, that's looking good, or this one actually. Kind of hard to pick. I'll give this a taste. Mm. Oh, that soft jiggly fat. Nice, gentle smoke flavor. And I didn't add any, I didn't add any wood for smoking. I just went with the charcoal. This one was made from cherry. I want to say a big thanks to Frederick for Gifting me these bags, bags really nice, top quality. I really like the way it's like clean burning, easy to work with. Mm. Gonna dig into this. So we cook it low and slow because I want to render out the fat, make it soft and jiggly, just like you do on a brisket. And then crank up the heat. Like you saw, it took more, no more than one minute to pop the skin, get it all hardened. This is what crackings is all about. Really good shot. And the nice thing is, when you get a pork belly, cut the skin off, cook the belly by itself with more bark surface, and then you can cook this like pork crackings. Cooked it on the PK today, but any old grill will work. Just a nice way of adding some variety, and this is a perfect snack, like with a cold beer before you serve the mains, for example. All right, thanks for watching.